Hi everyone and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Thank you so much for watching. I also want to thank you for subscribing to The Peppy Techie channel, for leaving the comments and for smashing those like buttons and for also clicking on the links to Amazon and the other affiliates that I have below in my descriptions. I actually for the first time got a gift card from Amazon for a whole $23 but it's the first one I've gotten since I started my YouTube channel many years ago. So I want to thank you very much for your support. It means the world to me. It is heartfelt, heartfelt thank you to all of you. Keep doing it. What I would like to say is the most exciting thing that's happened to LumaFusion in a very long time is the update 2.3, which includes multi-selection. Yay! It is the one thing I thought that was missing. There's some bugs. There's still problems. We get it. They are working so hard at LumaFusion to make this product something that all of us can use as a professional editor. It is amazing. If you use LumaFusion, you're going to love this update. So without further ado, let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, we're going to talk about the multi-selection tool. I have all my clips here and I have a lot of sound, different sounds and different things. And I can just come here and mute it. What I also want to do is get rid of the sound in all the videos. Using the multi-selection tool, so I'm going to make this video smaller so you can see all the pieces here. This is your multi-selector right here. When you have this click, you are in the multi-selection mode. What will happen is right up here on the timeline, if I hit this selector, I can select now by moving it just a little bit, I can select what I want in my video. I can move this in and come to here and you'll notice that last video is no longer selected and this is now changed its blue this has a white line around it so if I come in here move it even closer Whoop, you got to make sure you're right in between the videos now the other videos you have to make sure you're off that video if you're going to use the timeline there that is one way to select your video I'm going to move this all the way out because I want to select all my videos in this case just a real quick trick um, I'm going to show you what you could do. I'm going to take away the audio. My selector tool is selected. Here's one of the cool differences. I can come here and come to the gray and just highlight this and just grab the sound and hit the delete button. And now the sound has been deleted. That was one way to select it. I'm back on the timeline. I'm going to click here and I'm going to just scroll to about right here and you'll notice everything after this has been selected. I can bring this in to here and it will get rid of the video before the video that I ended with. I hope that makes sense. So I didn't notice the, the line is not on this video so it got rid of it. So that's the way that you can you know, choose everything right there or just bring this in to choose the few things that you want or don't want. The other way you can select and deselect is I can just click the music and it is now deselected as well as these last two videos. If I want those last two videos in, I just click on them and they are selected. So you can just do sort of a point and click with your finger or your pencil. Hit the selection tool again and then I'm just going to select the videos that I may want to use. So if I only wanted to use these four videos, I can now come down here to the clipboard and I can copy, cut, or paste anything I want to. You can also use the attributes. So if it has attributes such as uh, maybe your LUTs, um, frame and fits, any other things that you've done can all be copied as well. We'll show you that in just a few moments. So that's another way to make your selections. I'm going to turn this off. So the minute you turn this off, it's all deselected. I'm going to turn this back on. I actually love the way that I can come in here and just click in a gray area and sort of highlight something. Always remember it's going to go to the beginning of whatever clip. So I'm going to unclip this, unclick it. All right, and I'm going to just highlight, hit the gray, and now if I don't, if you'll notice, and I just want to show you this, I'm putting my cursor right here or my click right here. 
as I click on this, if I don't get to the very beginning of this second clip, it will not choose it. It's only going to choose this last clip. So I have to go a little past it. I can even go past the one in front of it. It won't hold it. You have to go all the way past it to select it. Very important to know. My other big advice to you is when you start editing, always make sure you turn this off because you could actually end up deleting something you didn't mean to. So uh, if I was to click right here, got to turn on, turn on the selector tool. If I was just to come here and just go to this to the music, it won't select it. It's very important. It looks to the beginning. So always remember when you want to do that and get that box, you need to be at the beginning and that's when it will select it. The end back is not a very good way to select when you're using this tool. Let's just say I wanted this entire video and I wanted to move it to another project. Let's do that. So I'm going to click on the multi-selector tool and again I can do it one of two ways. I can use this up here and I can select just kind of run in my cursor around. You'll notice all everything's selected. The music, everything, the video. I'm going to come to my clipboard. I am going to choose copy I'm now going to click on the plus down here and go to a different project. Let's go to this one right here. I'll just come to the very end. There we go. And I'm going to click and say paste. And there's the video and the music has all come in to this video from project to project. Let's take another look at another project. I made this entire video as sort of a fun example of using story blocks. I've actually sort of making a movie with just using story blocks. I also in this you'll notice as you come here I have the original settings. If I get rid of this this is how story blocks looked when I started. This is my settings to the original and then my LUTs. So it really added a lot to the colors on this. What I did so I'm in my color and effects. I've got this change right here. I'm going to come to my clipboard I'm going to make sure this is highlighted. I'm going to copy it and I can come back to, I'll just come to another project just to emphasize this. I'll come to this. I'm going to come to this first video and that's, I'm going to paste it. Look at the difference in the color that that made in that video. So I'm like, wow, I really like that. I want to add that to my entire video. So I'm going to click my selector tool. Make sure I select everything in the video. It's all selected. I'm going to come here to paste. Notice that it attribute, it says one clip with attributes copied, eight clips selected. I'm going to paste it. And now those attributes, unclick this, it's been added to the entire video. That's just how you can do some of the attributes. And again, this could be for anything. Um, let's just grab this video here again. All right, and we'll go to frame and fit. And we will start with one size and then we're going to zoom in a little bit on this guy right here. Super zoom, I'll call it. Uh, I did that backwards, so sorry. So here's the size, it's that way. And I put a mark in there. I'm going to go to the very end and I'm going to super zoom on this guy right here as I'm going to come to this clip. I want the frame and fit. I don't want the attributes. So let's just say and I'm going to say copy. I'm going to come out of this. I will come to this one right here where the birds are coming in and I'm going to do the frame and fit and paste it. Now what you're going to notice is there's the zoom on my birds. How cool. And again, you could do that to multi. So I don't, I can just do copy and paste now using this. And I could do it from the main screen as well. So just to prove that, I'll come here to the sunset. I'm going to come to this. I'm just going to do frame and fit. I'm going to paste it. We'll come to the sunset and there you go. That is how multi-selection works. I hope this has helped you. I just think it's a great tool. It's really added a lot, I believe, to LumaFusion. And I hope it's really helped you. Again, it works with frame and fit, your LUTs, your color, your effects. You can copy and paste between projects. You can copy and paste clips and different attributes. Now, the other thing, just to, uh, to show you, let's say I wanted to take these two clips. So I'm going to come here and I'm just going to 
take these two clips. Remember, it's always based on the front one if I don't grab the whole front. And I've got the music, but I don't want it, so I just deselected it. And now all I can do is I can just do a drag and drop and move that right to the end or move it right in there. Well, that was fun. I love the new multi-selection tool in LumaFusion. I hope you do too, and I hope you learned a lot today with the Peppy Techie. If you have ideas or maybe you have a need for something you'd like to learn in LumaFusion or on the PC or anything with photography or videography and you think maybe the Peppy Techie can help, please leave your comment down below. Or if you just have a comment or something you'd like to say today about the videos or in the next few weeks, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching the Peppy Techie channel. And remember, you can do it. Just get to it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.